Hey gang, Clayton Bakes here at the food show. It's preview day today, so I'm gonna go check out what's new in food and drink um, to give you an idea of what to check out if you're coming here this weekend. Um, you should definitely do if you're a foodie. Uh, also some live cooking shows, so some celebrity chefs, which would be awesome. And I've come here on an empty stomach, so it's time to go feed the beast. Here we go. What should we go check out first, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Sounds like guns out. Okay. Oh, thanks. So at the food show, there's a taste of the Philippine stand, and I'm here with Brian and his beer. What's the beer? Tell, me, tell us about the beer, Brian. So it's an eight percent beer, and it's a two standard drink. It's real good. It's a craft eight, beer. Eight percent. It's a craft beer. And what time is it, Brian? It's only like ten thirty, not even ten thirty. It's way too early for beer, but I'm just going to try some. <laughs> Nice. Alright, we've got some meat free meat going on over here from the alternative meat company. Oh, I better go here try some. Fruit. Chicken? Yes, correct. That's a beef. Oops. That's your beef. Oh man, looks so good. Would you like a try? Oh, definitely. We've got. Beef free right here. Not beef? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna try this with no hands. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That beef is amazing. It's one of my favorite uh, things to bake with is fresh air's ingredients and I'm here with Mike. And what have we made here today, Mike? This is our raspberry pan cotta, top of our freeze-dried raspberries. As you can Real see. Real simple. So uh, basically it's just a pre-mix. Uh, everything's in here, the fruit, the icing sugar and the gelatin. Oh. And all you're doing is adding the milk and the cream. It is so good. I'm going to give that a shot. Oh man. Mmm. Happy with that? Mmm. I love the crunch of your raspberries. Yeah, the bake them. Texturally, like that's what freeze drying is all about. Is adding that texture, mm. so you can uh, plate with all different things, different flavors and fruits, and you can add that texture. And if people come in today, is there some sort of deal? There is, yes. Yeah, so you can get three fruits for twenty dollars. So you can mix and match panna cotta with the fruit. So it's so cheap. You just like ten bucks each. Good work. Thanks. Yeah. Look. Oh, <laughs> Who doesn't love bacon? This is a good spot. It's the warm spot. I am um, just eating some kiwi bacon here. And I bake a lot of bacon, and especially in like um, savory uh, scones and stuff. So, what makes your bacon good? Well, our bacon is 100% natural, so no added nitrates. Bonus. Yep. New Zealand Free Farm, so it's the only bacon that has can say it's from one farm. Oh god, look, look at that pile of bacon there. And the bacon buddy, which is perfect. And um, does it shrink at all? It doesn't Absolutely shrink. All of our bacon so are rindless. So when you oh. put the rind on it, it'll, shrink, it'll shrivel up the bacon. Oh, bonus. And yes, yeah, so we don't have a lot of water content either, so it'll, it'll lie really flat on the bacon. Uh, here with Peter. Peter um, from Petal Cupcakes, as you can see. Um, now, we're about to see cupcakes. Where can your cupcakes be found, Peter? So we have a bakery in Wara, but we have two retail stores in Teeth Street and Piss Mirror. Nice, and how long have you been making cupcakes for? We, the company's been around for nine years. Holy we moly. bought it uh, two and a half years ago. And have you got like a favourite flavour amongst these beautiful things? So probably my favourite is boysenberry, but in terms of the stores, uh, I reckon salted caramel and red velvet. Oh, red velvet is a classic. Now, I've only just started making cupcakes. I've had some sink, I've had you know all the dramas. Some are burnt around the sides and the others aren't cooked. What is there like any sort of secrets you can pass on about cupcake making? That would be a secret. Yeah, that would be um, a secret. Just, just one, one top tip from Peter. From it's Peter. all about the ingredients. Ah. We use quality ingredients. We use real Philadelphia cheese. Ooh. And uh, we have five fantastic bakers that make them all day long. Oh, that's awesome. Well, good luck at the food show. Um, Thank you. And yeah, hey guys, I'm here with Alicia from Trio Events. Um, Alicia, could you tell me a little about your company and what you guys do? Yeah, well, we do lots of canapes and sweets. Um, you look at that cabinet, it smells amazing. <laughs> Everything's homemade, so we all did it this morning at like 2 a.m. We've got muffins and scones, oh. and, and what's your like favorite thing about doing this sort of stuff? Um, bringing color back into food and just oh yeah yeah, grab grab food. some of your macarons and hold it to the camera. I, you know me and macarons, I'm just I can't make them that good. Like they, the colors are so yeah. bright, vibrant. They're all different flavors as well. And what do you want to get out of the food show? Uh, just more exposure and just to you know create simple food, but um, for everyone. Cool. Make it accessible for everyone. Yeah, it looks like you've done amazing stuff and good luck. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with JB at Philippe's Peter. Bakery. <laughs> you guys have amazing stuff. Um, tell us a bit about your company, like how long have you been around for? So I'm in New Zealand since two years. 
then I do like everything by myself with my sous chef and my team. I do uh, from all to chocolates, bread, like pastries, a lot of things. It's mostly art, oh, but I love it. Yeah, oh, it's <laughs> amazing stuff. It's, what are your favorite things to make? Um, I would say classic, but I would say the croissant one. Oh, croissant. Okay. It's just easy and like butter. Like I'm French, so butter, yeah. of course. Layers and layers <laughs> of taste is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, thank you much, JB. My Good luck today. See you then. Hi guys, I'm here with Annabelle White, the YouTube sensation that is, oh, Annabelle yeah. White. And um, Annabelle, what are people are going to uh, expect from your show when they come see you here at the food show this weekend? Well, at the food show this weekend, it's all about giving good tips and good um, cooking suggestions in terms of entertaining and just really helpful things. Because I've gone to lots of cooking classes over the years, and I've found that to a certain extent, you might get one or two really good ideas out of a class. So I've condensed them so that you can come along to my one session for 45 minutes and yep. win a spot. It's prize. very funny, people. I haven't laughed so hard at it. But this fun. But the main thing is to make sure that you give people who me thinking, oh, she said this, she said this, she said this. For example, here's one baking tip. Oh, I, know you, I know you like baking tips. When you get your baking powder and you're going to make your scones or whatever, make sure you stir it because as baking powder sits in the pantry, all the good stuff goes to the bottom oh. of the of the container. So always stir your baking powder. And when Here's you, a fun fact, people. And when you fill your muffin tray, your muffin tray, make sure you try and get it in one hit. Like what I mean by that is get oh. an ice cream scoop and put it in one. Don't put it in a spoonful and then put another bit on top. Because That's it never exactly works what out. I yeah. Put it in one hit. Go for one go. I, this is the most stolen cookbook in the Wellington Public Library. I've been told I'm not supposed to say that, but I've got to tell you, it's fabulous. Oh, and it's like me, like after simple, easy recipes, uh, fail safe. And what's one baking one in there that you'd recommend? I heard something about a rhubarb. Yeah, no, I think the best one in there is the sour cream lemon cake. It's a beautiful oh. cake. If you can't bake cakes, this is, you make this and you feel like you're Gordon Ramsay. And when it comes out of the oven, you pour lemon juice and sugar all over it, and it's Ooh, delicious. Oh, I love this. It's moist and luscious and yum. Guaranteed, make that cake and get a marriage proposal after you serve that. Oh, wow. I'll, I'll look into that. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Annabelle. Cheers. You're welcome.